Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix TISM log file can be found at C Windows Logs DISM DISM dot log. So let's get started. Solution number one, go to search bar on your Windows and tap here PowerShell. Go to Windows PowerShell, right click on it and run as administrator. Now, you need this command, repair windows image online, check health. Copy this command and right click on it and go to edit and paste. Press enter. After this process completed, go to second one. And right click, add it and paste. Press enter. Now, third command, right click, copy, right click and add it and paste. Press enter. Solution number two. You need an ISO file for Windows. So I have Windows 10 64-bit Pro. Double click on your Windows ISO. Double click here, wait for some time and go to sources. Now, Click here and you need to copy this. Okay, now create a notepad. Now right click and go to new and text documents. So this is text documents. Open your text documents and paste here. In my case, my ISO in my G drive. You can see G. Now as you can see my this ISO is my local disk D but I go to this PC and this is my DVD drive G after opening ISO file. You can see guys sources and source in G drive but this ISO in my D drive. So open the documents and can see D now go to your uh, ISO file and double click here go to sources and you can see click here and G sources right click and copy and open documents tap here G file and save and you need this command, uh, this one, you can see. So, copy this one. And paste here. Okay. Now, you need type here, G. Uh, yep, in big words. Okay, G. Now go to file and save. And now go to search bar and type here PowerShell. And go to PowerShell, uh, Windows PowerShell, right click and run as administrator. Now uh, copy this command, copy and click on it, right click and go to edit and paste. So press enter. This will take some long time. So wait patiently and do not power off the computer. Or use the computer when this process is going on. Otherwise the computer will definitely go in no boot and we can only do a custom installation. Solution number three. Go to search bar on your Windows, type here settings. Go to settings. Scroll down, go to update and security and go to recovery. And you need to reset your PC. Get started and keep my files and reset this PC. So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye guys.